you're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another DVD collection update. Sorry this one took me so long, but here it finally is. Now, this isn't everything I've gotten recently, it's just what I could find for now. Again, moving, I've kind of need to find where some of my collection still is. But here's this. This is Drawn Together Season 1. There's the back of the case. There's the first inner case for Disc 1. There's the back of that inner case. Here's the inside and Disc 1 itself. As you can see, there is no art behind the disc. Here's the inner case for Disc 2. There's the back of that inner case. And the inside of the case and the disc. Alright, here we have Season 2. It has one of those lenticular cases. Uh, so, and it seems a little messed up because it's hard to get it to angle just right where you can see both pictures. Uh, but there it is. Here's the back of the case. There's the inner case for disc one. Here's the back of that case. And there's the inside of the case and the disc itself. Here's the inner case for disc two. There's the back of that case. There's the inside and the disc itself. All right, then we have Drawn Together Season 3 as well. So I have all three seasons. Like I said before, I do not have the movie yet. Though I've heard that the movie kind of sucks. Here's the inner case for disc one. There's the back of that case. And there's disc one itself and the inside of the case. Then here's the inner case for disc two. There's the back of the case and the disc itself. Next up, we have the Clark Gable Signature Collection. Now, this is what I was supposed to get when I got that Peter Pan DVD. Now, I don't know where I put the Peter Pan one, because I never returned it. Uh, but that would be in this collection, too, if I knew where it was. There's the spine, showing all the movies it comes with. Boomtown, John C's Dancing Lady, Magumbo, San Francisco, and Wife vs. Secretary. There's the back of the case. There's the top and the bottom. All right, here we have Boomtown itself. There's the front of the case on that. The back of the case on that, and the disc itself. Here we have San Francisco. There's the back of the case, and the disc itself. Here we have White vs. Secretary. There's the back of the case, and the disc itself. Here we have Dancing Lady. You may have noticed this is in a different order than they were listed in. That's just because they were just in the box in this way, so whatever. There's the back of the case, and the disc itself. Here's McGumbo, there's the back of the case, and the disc itself. Here's China Seas, there's the back of the case, and the disc itself. All right, now on to the stuff I bought at the Entertain Mart in Colorado. We have Dog Day Afternoon, starring Al Pacino. I don't know much about this one other than it stars Al Pacino, and it's based on a true story, I think, so there we go. There's the disc itself. Here we have I Saw the Devil. This is a movie I've been meaning to see for a while. Uh, so now I have it so I can watch it whenever I want. There's the back of the case. And the disc itself. Here we have Once Upon a Time in the West. I've never seen this movie, but I've been meaning to. I've heard it's one of the best westerns of all time, and it's directed by Sergio Leone, who also directed The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which is currently my favorite western, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And there's the discs themselves. All right, here we have The Private Life of Hitler, uh, this movie's actually just called Hitler, but that's what it says there. Uh, apparently, this is a movie from, uh, I think, the 50s about Hitler. So, I've heard it's uh, not very historically accurate, but it also doesn't paint him in a positive light. So, there you go. There's at least that. Uh, so, I was curious about it, so I bought that one. All right, now, the rest of these came in a mystery box, which had f uh, 20 movies for 15 bucks. Uh, so, it came with an 8-movie pack, so... Uh, we're going to see if it's 20 including the packs or if it's 20 different DVDs. Uh, but as you can see here, it has Prom Night, Vampire Wars, Descendant, The Dead One, The Nurse, Nadia, Undead Express, and Whitechapel Vampire. There's the back of the case. Here's the spine. So upon pulling out the first inner case, I notice these are not the movies that are listed. These are different cheap horror movies. <laughs> So, it fucking lies to you on it. So there you go. Um, but yeah, there's the back of that case. And there's the disc itself. It's a flipper disc, so, oh joy. Yeah, it completely fucking lies to you. None of these are the movies listed. What the hell? 
There's the back of the second case. And shocker, it's another flipper disc. So that first one was indeed still eight movies. Uh, so this would be the ninth that came in this mystery box. And I did unbox the mystery box in the Colorado trip video, which will go up sometime soon, hopefully. Because uh, I'd need to edit that one. Uh, but we got Freckles Comes Home, which is apparently a sequel to Freckles. It's funny, too, because I actually made a joke about it being the sequel we all wanted. Uh, and then I didn't even know it was actually a sequel, so there you go. And there's the disc itself. All right, then it came with Comedy Classics. So another four movies here. So that's uh, 13 with this one in the mystery box. Um, so yeah, there's that. It's got Love Laughs and Andy Har at Andy Hardy. Never Wave at a WAC. My Dear Secretary. And Nothing Sacred. There's the disc itself. The disc doesn't even tell you any of what's on it. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, but uh, I would assume it's just all the stuff it lists since it is the correct disc at least. Hopefully it's not one that had a multi-disc thing, like, stacked. I don't think it is, because this doesn't feel like it's big enough to stack them. All right, then we got Abel's Filled, so this will be 14. Because I am curious if they did give me 20, or if it's if they gave me more or less. There's the disc itself. Then we got Nomad the Warrior. This brings us up to a total count of 15 in the mystery box. There's the back of the case. And the disc itself. All right, next up we got Vampire Clan. There's the back of the case on that. And there's the disc itself. Looks like this was a former Blockbuster rental, so there you go. So that was 16, and then this pack brings us up to 20. So they definitely gave us more than the 20, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but it's another comedy classic set. Uh, we got two weeks to something. Two weeks to live? Yeah, two weeks to live. Uh, and then The Beautiful Bachelor, so this is Washington and Dreaming Out Loud. There's the back of that. And there's the disc itself. All right, and here we have Widow's Point. There's the back of that. There's the disc itself. So this brings our count up to 21. All right, and I know there was two different exercise things, so here's this one. I don't even give a shit about this one. Brings us up to 22, but I honestly do not fucking care. What god damn waste. There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's, uh, did that even damage it? Let's see. Look at that. The disc is, uh, I was going to say just fine, but I think it is damaged. Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucked, piece of shit. That'll teach you. That'll fix your wagon. There we go. Here we have Neanderthal. I think this is a documentary. Uh, so, there you go. This brings the count up to 22. Me destroying that one brings it down to 21, but we'll still say 22 because that's what was included. There's the disc itself. This, was, this one looks like it was a library. Uh, yeah, this is a library uh, checkout, so there you go. Next up, we got Extreme Bears, which I think is more documentaries. It comes with three, so that brings our count up to 25. And as you can see, this one had a slip case. And this one has two discs, so there's disc one and disc two. Next up, we have the trip. There's the back of the case on that. And there's the disc. I guess this used to belong to somebody named Connie J. Smith. Don't know who that is, but it's not hers no more because it was in a bargain bin mystery box. So, you know, it also brings us up to 26, by the way, if you weren't keeping count. Next up, we have Dangerous Game, and reading the description, I would say this one's based off the most dangerous game, which is a really good uh, classic story. Uh, but there's the back of the case on that. I'd say it's probably a more contemporary case, uh, take, though. Okay, I wasn't going to bring this up, but the trip was in the case upside down when I opened it, and so was this. There we go. I don't know why they did that. I guess to show that it wasn't scratched? I don't fucking know. And then I guess it wasn't two workout things. It was two dance things, this one being hip-hop. Um, I was going to say... I don't know if I should smash it with the hammer as well to have some fun with it, you know, kind of like like I did with that one, but, you know, might as well. Watch watch there be, like, something really cool in here that I just smashed with, like, rare and because I thought it was a fucking hip-hop thing, but, you know. Let's take, a, let's take a gander. This one was also in there upside down. I don't know why the fuck they keep doing that, but, uh... As you can see, that actually only scratched up the top, all that. Um, but uh, we will persevere and uh, get it nice and busted the fuck up because that's a ripoff, though it did bring the count to 27. 
And I just threw the disc in the other room if you didn't notice. All right, next up we have Daisy Williams. And I noticed it had the actor who plays Ramsey Snow in it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but there's the back of the case on that. Now, the disc of this one just fell right out when I opened it. I don't know if there's part of the case that's, like, kind of broken or what, but there it is. Correction, Daisy Winters, not Daisy Williams. All right, here we have Beautiful Planet, France, Spain, Italy, and Portugal. I think it's literally just one of those things that shows cityscapes. So probably like one of those things you see on a demo TV at a store just to kind of show off what the TV is capable of. Probably won't be watching this one a whole lot, but it doesn't piss me off enough to smash the hell out of it, I guess. I mean, I'm tempted. I am tempted. But this one, this one can survive. So yeah, it looks like including the compilation stuff, we had a grand total of 29. Except I lied, it's 30, because I didn't notice this one until just a second ago. But that does appear to be the last one. So uh, we got I Am... Or no, sorry, Image of Bruce Lee. There's the back of the case on that. And the disc itself. This one looks like there might be some damage on the middle of the disc. Let's take a look at that. Looks like it's probably just a scratch. For a second I thought it was a crack. I would hate to have any of these get scratched or crack, cracked or scratched. You know, unless it was another dancing thing or like a workout video, then 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 I don't care, as as you can tell. Hopefully that bit wasn't too uh, out there, but I just decided, fuck it, I didn't want them. But yeah, that's a collection update. Uh, you know what, hold on. Not a DVD, but I do have the 1611 Bible. I did show this off before. It's got, a, it's got the Apocrypha in it, though, and it's got the Old English spelling. So some of the stuff can be kind of confusing, like some S's or F's and stuff like that. See, Psalms, it's Pafoms. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Toodles.